Let's open this up. If I put the screwdriver in here while it's on, three, two, one. Can this run fridge freezer combination with a batch of wash? I think that'd be super cool. This is a UPS from Golden Mate. It's one of the first ones to have lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. Let me show you how awesome it is. Spoiler alert, I'm wanting to get my hands on two more of these for my own use. Let's unbox this bad boy. So on the top here, we've got some documentation. There's its power cord. And here's the device. It's pretty sleek looking. We just have a single screen on this end. Let's try powering it on. It beeps. And there we go. And on the back side, we just have two, four, 120 volt outlets. There's the port where you plug your thing in. This appears to be the uh, reset button for the surge protection. We'll have to read what that little plug does. In the manual right here, it says that, that little plug is a communication port and then it has an asterisk by it. And it says uh, it's a debugging interface and cannot connect to a server. So it sounds like that's pretty useless at this point. It is an 800 watt unit, it uses lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry, which is what I'm most excited about. It's ready to 3000 cycles with an 80% depth of discharge. Recharging time, uh, 10 hours or less. <laughs> it's pretty broad and pretty long. We'll have to test that. It is pure sine wave, which is critical. Its switching time is 20 milliseconds. We'll have to test that and with my workstation and see if that's fast enough. So it's rated to produce 105% to 120% of its rated power for continuous use. So it can actually go over the 800 watts, it sounds like. 120 plus, it'll get run for 60 seconds and then shut itself off. 150%, it can run that for 10 seconds and then it will turn off. And that's about all the useful information the manual has. The unit is off. Now, supposedly when you plug it in, it's going to charge the battery. So let's do that. Uh, I'm just curious to see what uh, the power consumption levels are. I still have not turned the switch on, but uh, you can see it's saying it's charging at 25, 26 watts. From the wall, it's pulling 31.2, which let's turn it on. So power it on as if it was connected. Looks like we've dropped down to charging at about 16 watts. Kilowatt meter, it's pulling 28. 29, so just a few watts less. So there's obviously some power consumption that happens because we were only like two or three watts above when it was off charging based on what it said it was dumping in the battery. Now we're 16 and, uh, and we're at uh, 28. So obviously having that kind of in a standby state consumes more power and we'll see what it actually does once it completely charges. The UPS has finished charging and it's off. Nothing's plugged in uh, besides the UPS itself. And just in off standby mode, uh, you can see it's using 0 0.4, 0 0.5 watts. It says one watt in reality, in standby mode, it's consuming 12.6 watts just on its own. Of course, we've got to test this with a high-end gaming PC. We've got three 32-inch 4K monitors. Uh, you can see the uh, tower down here. How I've got it set up, notice this white cable. It uh, is going back and is plugging into the outlet. There's uh, a black surge protector back here where my finger is. Its main cord is coming over and plugging into the back of the UPS. And all the computer um, electronics and stuff are plugged into that plug strip there. Coming out of the back of the UPS is its power cable. And it's coming up here to this switched plug strip right here. And that way we can kind of see the screens and everything and uh, watch what happens as we uh, toggle power. I've been using this on my uh, computer setup here for the last couple of weeks. It has worked really good. We've actually had some severe thunderstorms come through and one of those knocked the power out uh, temporarily while I was working and uh, this saw me through uh, for just a few minutes and uh, Everything else in the house died, but uh, my computer stayed uh, on and uh, continued to function. It was great. Another observation that uh, we need to take note of 
while it is set up like this is the fan noise, okay? So let's listen here. So there is some fan noise. Now a lot of people have been complaining about how loud it is. I personally am not bothered by it. It is quite quiet. It just kind of lives down here uh, underneath uh, the space. Maybe if it were up on the desktop, you know, next to your face and your ears where you're working, uh, it would be more noticeable, but I really don't notice it that much. We're going to kill power to it uh, a couple of different times, and then we'll put a heavy load on it and do the same test and uh, make sure that uh, nothing dies on us. I'm gonna hold things kind of like this. You can see the power light on this uh, strip as well as the uh, monitors. Three, two, one. As you can see, it's holding rock steady. You obviously heard the beep as power was cut to this and then the continued to uh, beep as to let you know that there's no power coming to the UPS. All right, let's turn it back on. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And back on. All right, let's put a heavy load on the computer and see if that makes any difference. Now I've got a gaming benchmark running in full 4K on one of the monitors there, as you can see. If we come down here to the UPS, we're pulling a high 500 watt range uh, to just over 600 watts. Now the fans in the computer are louder than the fans on the UPS. Same test as before, uh, but this time with a much heavier load. Three, two, one. Didn't even skip a beat. Let's turn back on. Three, two, one. Still rock solid. Once again, we're in the high 500 range. It's a low 600 watt uh, range. Let's let it run uh, at this load for just a second. Let's see if the fans in the UPS here speed up at all. Okay, it's been running a good five minutes. It's hard to hear because the PC is uh, making more noise, but uh, the fans really aren't super bothersome. Like I said, the PC is actually making more noise at this point. I personally feel the sound is negligible and not a huge issue. The beep is more annoying by far than the fan noise. Let's open this up and uh, see what's inside. Non-professional personnel should not open the lid to avoid the risk of electrical shock. So if I die, you guys, it's all for a good cause for you guys. If you remove these little pads, it reveals screws. Thing applies here, yes. Okay, so it looks like it just slides out. By pushing on this back, you can see it's just sliding out of its case here. So let me use two hands here for a minute. This is it uh, out of its cover. Build quality is actually quite impressive so far. I don't know if you can see, but uh, the battery cells are down here and they, they're cylindrical cells. It looks like they might be the same cells as the ones that they use in the best 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery I've tested hands down on this channel. That's their Orion 1000 battery. Anyway, I'll put a link to that video right up here. It uh, just destroyed the competition. Those cells really pack a punch. And uh, so it looks like they might be using those same cells. Here's uh, the main uh, board. It's a little hard to see, but uh, right up in here is the BMS for the battery pack. We have a single fan. I wonder if they could run them at slower RPMs and as a result, quieter if they moved this fan up and put a second one here so that way there were two and then you know throttle the speed to 50% to of what the single one does uh, you might uh, be able to get some quieter performance with just as good airflow and then still be able to ramp them up if need be for added airflow depending on temperature I'm gonna do something here that uh, I don't recommend you do but let's uh, let's power it on <laughs> and see uh, I want to see where the buzzer is, the thing that uh, beeps. You gotta be really careful because there is very high voltage stuff going on here. Sounds to me that the beep is coming from down in here. Yep, 
that's the speaker. This is for entertainment purposes only. Do not play around inside of your UPS like I am doing. Obviously, it uh, will void uh, any sort of warranty and is incredibly dangerous. So don't do what I'm doing. So my hope is to try to disable that speaker somehow because I want to run some tests on this, but I really don't want to have that obnoxious beep happening and there's no switch to disable that so golden mate let's let's put in a switch that allows us to silence that another discovery i've made too is um these wires right here they go to the fan this is a red and a black one they come down here to a fan header and there's an empty fan header right next to it so be very easy to slap a second fan into this further discovery if I put the screwdriver in here while it's on, you must be very, very careful to not touch anything. Can you hear that now that the screwdriver is on there, the beep is no longer audible, or it's very, very muffled. Success! <laughs> I think I've uh, managed to uh, mute this bad boy. I just uh, stuck that toothpick in at an angle and just kind of wedged it into that speaker so that it uh, can't vibrate hardly at all. You see? The unit is on, and if I'm really quiet, you can hear it very subtly. Listen. You can barely hear it, uh, but uh, not by too much. So now I'm going to shorten this toothpick so that it's not as long, and then I'm going to shove it back in there. I've officially defeated the buzzer. Hooray. <laughs> See that little toothpick there? So I just cut the toothpick in half, just shove that into the speaker. Before we slide it into its case, let's just test it one more time here. Ah, so much better. Let's just uh, take a minute to really appreciate these guys are using lithium iron phosphate battery cells for this. I don't even understand why UPS units are still using lead acid, probably because it's more profit for other companies. Kudos to Golden Mate for taking the plunge and providing us with this. All back together, let's see. Ah, it's a thing of beauty. Nice, quiet UPS now. Sound off in the comments on this idea. Uh, I'd be curious to hear all of you guys' take on this. This is Goldmate's Orion 1000 battery. It's probably the best 12 volt battery I've tested to date. It's got so many features, packs a punch, at an incredible price. Like I said, uh, check out the full review on that. But just think how cool it'd be if there's like a little port, Anderson Power Pole or XT60, and then have the uh, Golden Mate sell an accessory cable that uh, would allow you to connect to one of their 12 volt batteries like this, plug it into the back of the UPS, and essentially expand the capacity of the UPS. This will power my high-end gaming PC at full tilt for a full two hours, and if it's just on idle, we can easily triple that uh, amount of time. So by the time you get that combined with the capacity of this, now we're talking about like a full eight hour workday of uh, time. That'd be so sweet, don't you think? Granted, the charger on this is incredibly slow, but even still, it might take two days to recharge this battery plus this at that slow rate, but it'd be sweet if it could charge both back up. So you could basically have this under your desk with this and just have a massive UPS battery backup system. I think that'd be super cool. <laughs> anyway, but let me know, what do you guys think? Can this? And if so, how long can it run a full-size fridge-freezer combination? Here's the setup. I've got uh, another power station right here, and uh, it's strictly powering the time-lapse camera and uh, the phone right here with the stopwatch. The UPS, obviously, uh, has nothing plugged into it. So turn it on here. Ah, so nice, no beep. You can see the uh, battery is fully charged. Three, two, one. And just so you can see, the light is on, so it is getting power. Let's see how this does. We'll be back in a little while. The fridge tried to turn on and it looks like it overloaded the UPS. Uh, let's try it one more time, but I think the surge to get uh, the fridge going is too much for the UPS. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing in the sense that uh, the UPS is 
not necessarily made for heavy surge loads. All right, let's reset it. Green light is flashing, we've got voltage. Let's try plugging the fridge in again. Tried to start, but uh, overloaded. Not quite enough to uh, fire up a full size fridge. Let's test this uh, Golden Mate UPS with a batch of wash. Now unfortunately, based on what we discovered on that fridge test, this does not have very much surge power. So I know for a fact that it won't start the gas dryer here. However, the washer only uses a couple hundred watts and uh, I think it could probably operate within the range of this UPS. So let's give it a shot. And just so you can see that it is getting power from the UPS, if we unplug it here, uh, you can see that shut down. If we turn the power on, nothing happens. And uh, plug it back in. It boots back up. So it is indeed getting power from the UPS here. Three, two, one. It is uh, not able to provide sufficient power for this. Uh, it's just on the agitation cycle. Again, I think it might just have too much surge as it moves the agitator back and forth. It's gonna start up again here. So there it goes, swish once, swish twice, and there it died. This won't run a batch of wash. Just stating the obvious, that's really not what this UPS is meant for. I'm just having some fun testing things out that uh, are unconventional that uh, you wouldn't see anywhere else. All right, it's depleted. I've got uh, this set up. We're gonna see how fast it can actually charge uh, from zero to full. <laughs> Nine hours, 48 minutes. They say less than 10 hours in the documentation for this. And obviously nine hours and 48 minutes is less than 10 hours. Well, that completes the testing on this Golden Mate UPS unit. I'm a huge fan. I actually uh, want to get my hands on two more of these. I'm gonna have three, one for my workstation, very small private uh, server that uh, one of these would be super handy for. And I've got a video surveillance uh, system that uh, I wanna also plug into one of these. You just can't beat the fact that it uses lithium iron phosphate batteries. It does UPS stuff for tech gear flawlessly. Obviously it didn't do so good running a fridge and it didn't do so good, you know, running a batch of wash, but that's really not what <laughs> this is used for. It's just fun testing to see you now, how far can you push this? So if you're looking for a UPS, do not pass go, do not collect 200. Just go straight to Golden Mate and get one of these. Uh, I think you will be very, very pleased. One big downside for me, but uh, I fixed mine, and that is the buzzer. I do not like the constant beat when the power is out. I recognize that it's there to let you know that you need to start wrapping up your work, saving it and shut things down. But uh, I'd sure love to have some mute button or some kind of programming where it beeps, you know, one or two or three times immediately when the power goes off so that you're aware. And then it stays quiet to, until it gets down to say like 20, 25%. Uh, capacity remaining and then it starts constantly beeping. It would be very easy to add and that would be maybe a second fan so that way they could run at a lower RPM moving the same amount of air and uh, just making it all the quieter. And then just let me know down in the comments uh, what uh, you guys think. I try to read and respond to all the comments I get so I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, take on this. And what do we think about the expansion uh, port uh, for a battery to plug into this, an external battery to plug into this and extend your runtime? I think that would be the coolest thing. All right, guys, please give me the like and please consider subscribing. It gives me the motivation and uh, excitement to, to persevere and to continue. Because after all, it's because of you guys I do this. There's really no other reason. I just enjoy the interaction and uh, the ability to bring some fun things to the table for you. We'll catch you all next time.